What's going on guys, King Gear, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to start a brand new series. I told you guys I'm going to be putting a lot of work into this game. I, I know I started doing a lot of streaming in the beginning just because I wanted to get some gameplay and I wanted to get there to my first prestige and um, now I'm almost there I don't want to prestige because apparently there's some badness going on if you do prestige so we're gonna probably make that in another video and just talk about that but in this video it starts the first episode of tips and tricks now it's going to be mostly covered the guns now if something come around and I think I found some tips and tricks and like maps or kill streaks or anything like that I will bring you guys a video of that but mainly this series is going to focus on tips and tricks on guns now I want to start with the SMGs I'm gonna go with the assault rifle I'm gonna go with the sniper shotgun specials and we're just gonna go in that order and I'm gonna start with the first one is the grease gun now you got to remember in my first video that I told you guys about when I said my plans to World War II if you haven't seen that video go watch the video so you'll understand this series more each gun may have five or 10 or 15 different videos of tips and tricks. Why? Because there's different combinations that you can run with the basic trainer, the division, you know, the attachments, the, the secondary. There's ways that you can make a gun a different class or the best class for a certain division with the primary, with the, um, with the basic training or the best setup with a basic training and a secret so it's so many ways that you can make a combination in this game when it comes to classes so i want you guys to know that let's say next week you see another tips and tricks video on the grease gun you got to remember it may be a totally different video because i found another way to run this gun and be better with it so Let's just hop into it. This is going to be live. We're going to be definitely covering it. So let's get into it. So first off, my division. The division that I usually choose when it comes to running with my grease gun is the airborne. Because sometimes I like to be stealthy. Sometimes I like to just uh, sprint a little bit longer. Because if you look into it, the first thing that you do is that you unlock the suppressor, right? The second thing, you sprint longer distance. And then you're able to climb over things a little faster and then increase sprint speed. So you become more of a stealthy, faster person. Pretty much like the perks. I guess you could say like um and black I think it was like it was I forget what it was where you can run faster and dead silence and stuff like that. So pretty much you'll be a more stealthier person when you run it with the airborne grease gun of course, but when it comes to camouflage, it doesn't matter, whatever you like. Um me it doesn't matter. The cam the cam the camo really doesn't matter. It doesn't do anything to the gun, so it doesn't matter when it comes to camo. When it comes to the attachments, I like to run with the grip. The grip, you know, just give you a little more steady aim when you're shooting, less recoil, knocks that down a little bit so you can have the advantage of your opponent. Next, quick draw. Same thing. So you can have the advantage of your opponent. You can get your gun up first before he get his up, and that way you'll be ready to just take out how many's in front of you. Second, well actually thirdly will be rapid fire now the reason why i choose rapid fire in this gun because the rate of fire is really low it's really it's, i wouldn't say it's the lowest but it's low it's not the ppsh so basically i put the rapid fire on it so i can get a few more bullets down while i'll be able to take my opponent down because if i'm going to get somebody that got the ppsh my eyes may not be with me because he's able to put a few more bullets in him but if i got my gun skill with me i'm running the right class i can put him down so that's why I go with the rapid fire. When it comes to the basic training, which would be the reason why I get to put the rapid fire on there, is because Prime, it allows me to put an extra attachment and also it's less flinch when I'm being shot at. So, I have so many times where I'm getting, I'm in a gunfight with somebody, right? I'm in a gunfight and what happens is, is that they put me down first because my shots are not on because I'm flinching when I'm getting shot. Well, if you put all three of those combinations together where you have your grip, you have your quick draw and rapid fire, with your prime it allows you to not to be flinching as much when you get a shot come on that's a great combination now when it comes to secondary it's all up here it's all about opinion of you what you want like me i love the po8 a lot of people like the uh, 1911 some people like the machine pistol but with me i go with the po8 because i feel like i'm a little bit more accurate with that pistol and also when it comes to the lethal this is a tough one and this is why so Depending on what game mode I'm playing would determine which lethal or non-lethal I'm going to go with. So let's say we're playing Domination. Most likely I'm going to go with the sticker grenade because I can throw it on there. It's going to stick and I can clear out a, a, a flag, a, a Domination flag or whatever. I can clear it out. I can probably get two people and, you know, 
get one down to a one shot so i go with the stick but when it comes to team deathmatch sometimes i go with the frag why because in this game i don't know why but in this game the grenades follow you now if you if you understand what i'm saying grenades follow you in this game for real i witnessed it with my eyes where an enemy threw a grenade at me I seen it bounce and it rolled in my direction like it, it literally rolled my direction so it depends on what game I'm playing when it comes to the um, lethal or non-lethal but sometimes if I'm playing like search and destroy I put on I put on the bouncing Betty or I put on this um I forget the name of this one I don't remember uh, I, I don't remember that because it, I think it's like blinds them or something like that So I may run with that one But it, it all depends when it comes to the game mode that I'm playing So when it comes to the lethal, I don't know what I'm going to get I don't know what I'm going to use That comes to a conclusion when it comes to tips and tricks for the grease gun Now this may not be the only video for tips and tricks on the grease So I want you guys to remember that because it may be more But we're going to start off this series with the grease gun I like this gun a lot It's, it's, it's amazing, I, I like it and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit your favorite, hit that like button. Also, subscribe, hit that notification bell button so you can get all my tips and tricks videos. Also, my live commentary video. If you guys haven't seen that video, I posted it up a little earlier. It's in the link, or you can click it on the screen. Until next time, King is out. And don't forget, we got a giveaway coming up. We are so close to the giveaway. We're literally five subs away. Five subs away from a 150 giveaway. I'm ready to give away some control freaks, man. Of your choice. All you do is just send me a you when I when we get to the 150, I'm gonna have a live stream. I'm gonna pick the winner. Obviously, we're gonna do it like the last giveaway. If that person don't reply to me within 48 hours, I'm gonna move on to the next person. And whoever wins it, you DM me on Twitter, you tell me which ones you want. About two or three days, you will get your uh, control freaks, depending on how I, did, I, I choose to buy them or whatever. But you will get your control freaks, and then at 200 subscribers, that's gonna be a little bit bigger. We're gonna go with the control freaks, and then we're gonna go with the G Fuel. All right. So you guys gotta hit that like button and also subscribe, and leave in the comment section what's your favorite gun right now and what you run. Until next time, King out. You're not